And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right, I watched the movie Jug Jug Jaya, Jayo. Uh, okay, Gio maybe. <laughs> I remember watching the trailer for this, and honestly, I remember it was family oriented, but I had for completely forgotten what it was about. So, the boyfriend wants to divorce his, or the husband wants to divorce his wife, and he goes home for a family trip, and they're pretending to be a happy couple, and his father wants to divorce his mother. And it just, and his sisters, they're at the sister's wedding. And they're trying to wait till after the sister's wedding before they talk about how terrible marriage is. Which makes, the, the movie was, okay. I didn't really care for it because I, I, I find things hard to relate to most of the time, <laughs> obviously. But it was just, the funny parts I found from this movie was the, the brother-in-law and the, the father. They were the funniest people in the movie because the father just seemed like a man who's married. He was afraid of his wife. He was like <laughs> all the little things, like he would say things like when he said he was going to get divorced and everything he said with bravery to his son. But when he finally got in that like family argument and everything, he was like scared for his life of being stabbed by his wife. There's a reason why that rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that, that that it had its funny moments. It really did have its funny moments, but I, I feel like it just it it, it lost itself most of the time because it just felt too not really dark, just unrelatable for me. Un, un unrelatable because when it comes to like the concept of uh divorce the topic of divorce the topic of unhappy marriages it's just like you you think people would just learn to work things out uh, sure sure i live in the states and uh, almost everyone i know has done it or is in a family that has done it uh, i i have been one of the the few that hasn't really ever seen that in my family so it, it it's what i grew up with so it's just something that just seems it's funny because most people most other westerners who would watch this would probably find it oh this this seems straight out of home this is exactly for me it was it was not it was nothing i could actually relate to so this is one of those interesting ones that i think if someone else was to watch it another westerner was to watch it they'd probably feel like it would hit closer to home for them but for me i just saw the few funny bits and that was it that's all there was for me. Uh, other than that, I mean, the, the story, sure, it, the fact that he realized he did love his wife. Uh, the father realized that, well, his 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 wife was the best person he could ever, but he was so selfish, only caring about himself. And I, that's basically all the movie was about, is just make sure when you're in a relationship, respect one another, love one another, don't just be in it all for yourself. And... and you would think that would be common knowledge. <laughs> you would think. I mean, that's what I grew up around, but I guess they had to make a movie based on this topic. But when I think about it with hindsight, knowing like how, well, I'm, like I said before, I'm in the States. It's very common. So it's one of those things that are just like, oh, okay, most people don't know this. It, it makes sense that they would make a movie about this for some, because a lot of people don't think to respect one another, won't think to love one another, won't think to just work through the difficult times. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really have much else to say, just except the brother-in-law. Uh, what did he do for work? It, seriously, uh, is he like a hitman? Does he or is he? Does he facilitate hitmen or uh, certain things like? <laughs> Because what they're doing in the background when uh, he's meeting his brother-in-law, talking about his father wanting to get a divorce, the one person's like using a gun, another person has a knife, there's a tub, a mannequin. It was such a weird scenario. It was just like, it was one of those sh shots that it's like, I was staring at the background. I didn't care what those two were talking about. I was watching the background. <laughs> yeah. But that's all I got to say. Uh, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.